Hey guys, MD Prepper here with another short series on pocket pistols, uh, pocket carry guns, uh, ultra small type guns, aka mouse guns. Uh, I'm going to do these in the order that I bought them, in the order I purchased them. Uh, first, we're going to start with the Keltec P32 32 caliber pocket pistol, aka mouse gun. I'm going to show you here first. Unloaded, of course. There we have it. Um, you say a 32 is not the best gun in the world. It's a terrible pistol caliber uh, for self-defense. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. It's not as good. Uh, this 32 ACP is nowhere near as good as my AK-47. But uh, generally, can't walk around with my AK-47. Uh, you say this isn't as good as a 45. Well, sometimes I can't dress to carry my 45 uh, with my job and all. Sometimes I uh, leave work with a uh, polo type shirt, pair of khakis, and that's it. Uh, I can't just stop at the store and uh, strap on my 45 and hope I can conceal carry that bad boy. Uh, this 32 will slip into my pocket just fine, easy, uh, and great. I have carried this pistol for years and years and years. Um, first time I got a concealed carry permit back when I was a med student here in South Carolina years ago before I moved out to Texas. This was all, the only gun I could afford, actually. Um, I have probably been carrying this for about, I don't know, eight years or so. Uh, this is without a doubt the uh, firearm I've carried the most of any gun. Um, it has most of the wear and tear of any gun I've got. Uh, don't know if you can see that at all. But um, it's got a lot of wear and tear on it. The bluing is uh, starting to wear off there, uh, starting to show a little bit. Still functions just fine. Uh, a lot of you'll say, hey, Keltec, it's a piece of crap. Um, doesn't fire or function accurately, uh, sufficiently. Well, it's Keltec. It's cheap. It requires a little bit of what they call fluff and buff. Uh, you can go on the uh, Keltec Owners Group, K T O G, and uh, find out how to make this thing a uh, reliable little beast. Um, Again, 32 not the best round in the world. You say, why did I get 32 versus 380? Well, when I bought this, they didn't make a lot of 380 little pocket pistols. Uh, this was right before the 380 pocket handgun revolution. Uh, bought this bad boy cheap. I think I paid 250 for it, um, maybe a little less. Uh, you can get them cheaper now, especially if you're going to get one used because everybody's switching to 380s. Uh, you can get this little 32 used in excellent shape at uh, your local gun stores for. 170 bucks, 160, maybe 150 if you haggle a little bit. Uh, think it's well worth it. Uh, a good little gun, not as good as a 380, but uh, you gotta have something. You gotta have cheap. This is a good gun. Uh, ultra lightweight, ultra slim and thin. Uh, double action only trigger. Very long trigger. Um, not the smoothest, but uh, for as nothing fancy would say, philosophy of use, it's fine. Uh, this would be what I would describe as a get off me gun. Uh, I'm only going to shoot this when somebody's all over my butt. Uh, they're on top of me, uh, in my face, that sort of thing. I may draw it and hope they back the hell off. If they don't, they're going to be right in my face when I start pulling this bad boy out and pulling the trigger. Um, again, you don't shoot this like you would a 9 or 40 or a 45. Uh, you don't necessarily just aim for center mass and Hope you drop them. Uh, you can do that if you want to, but uh, a lot of the cops I know carry these as a secondary gun. They carry them on their offhand side, you know, if you, I'm right handed. So you carry this in your left hand uh, pocket, that sort of thing, if you've got a primary carry weapon on your right. Uh, in case somebody happens to grab your gun, you're struggling with it, yeah, grab it out of, grab this little bad boy out of your left hand pocket. Oh, I'm not good shooting left handed. Who cares? They're in your face, they're on top of you. Put this against the side of their head, pull the trigger, eh, end of story. I don't care how piss poor the uh, round is. Um, again, uh, a lot of people say, well, 32, that's nothing. Well, stand there, let me shoot shoot you with it This, you know, for the full magazine. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to get shot with anything. Uh, tend not to think about the caliber. It's just that somebody's shooting at you at the time. Um, this thing, uh, the magazines are made by Metgar. Never had any major problems with them. Um, here's your standard mag. I've got several of them. Um, you can count here, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven rounds plus one of the magnets. Eight rounds. Not terrible. Shooting somebody with eight rounds, they should stop. Uh, and this thing is thin. Very, very thin. 
uh, thin or thinner than your wallet, unless you have an ultra thick wallet, in which case it's even thinner. Um, easily concealable. Good little gun. Got some good checkering here on the sides. Uh, what I like a little bit better because this thing is so thin, it's hard to get a purchase on. Again, if you can see my hand here, um, I can barely get the second finger on the grip. Uh, and Pinky is just absolutely out. They do make some uh, extension magazines here for this, but uh, I don't think that fits the uh, philosophy of use. I don't like that idea. This is small. It's supposed to be small. Keep it as small as necessary. Um, so what I have done is I got one of those little universal slip-on grips here that you can hopefully see um, for the smallest size pistol and uh, I flipped it around. This thing is actually opposite. If you can see the uh, finger groove there is at the bottom. Uh, that's to help me keep my second finger on this thing when I'm firing it when there's some recoil. Works just fine. Uh, had to trim this a little bit at this end and at this end to make it fit uh, just so that uh, I could get to the magazine on the bottom to remove it and then I could get to the uh, magazine release button without covering it up, that sort of thing. Uh, otherwise it works just fine. I think I paid eight bucks for this at the local gun store. Um, double action only as already stated. This thing does lock, lock back in uh, the final round fired which is kind of uncommon with a lot of your uh, pocket pistols these days. You know when you're out, typically I don't tend to carry an extra magazine with my little pocket pistols. Uh, this is again my kind of Newark reload. After I've fired and finished my uh, primary gun, I'll pull this one. Um, at that point I really don't think I need an extra reload. Has a slight tip up barrel there. It does come with a uh, plastic guide rod there. Um, but this one is a metal guide rod that I upgraded for about 10 bucks from um, Keltec that I ordered. Uh, you can get a Keltec uh, pocket clip for this. I have one. I just don't have it attached to the time. Um, at present, uh, basically knock out the pins here. You attach it to the side. I got it for right hand carry. And basically you can slip this inside your belt with the clip on it. No holster necessary and uh, ride just fine. Ultra thin, unlike a lot of your in the waistband style holsters where you need to have a, a pair of pants that's wider by an inch or so than your standard carry uh, and standard wear pants. Uh, I don't like having to worry about uh, what size pants I'm going to wear that day and is it good enough for my gun carry. Uh, I think it's a little silly. Um, good gun though overall. Um, again, 32, not the best round, not as good as a 380. I agree, uh, but you got to get something for cheap, especially if you're going to buy it used. It works just well. The sights on this are very, very minimal. Um, you got a single recessed little sight back here and a single very slightly raised sight up here at the front. Uh, don't know if you can see that there. Um, very minimal sights, uh, not the most accurate to fire, but again, this is a mouse gun. It's up close in your face type of firearm. You don't need sights. Uh, if somebody's going to be on you, they're going to be on you and uh, you just point it at them and pull the trigger. Uh, Again, not the most accurate, not the most comfortable to fire because you can't get your full grip on it. It's ultra lightweight, but again, who cares? Uh, not really what it's for. Um, again, kind of a long double action trigger. Not the smoothest, not the best, but uh, it gets the job done. Uh, another slight complaint about this gun. When I fire it, and again, maybe it's just my hands, uh, the bottom part of my index finger, trigger finger here, tends to rub against the bottom of the trigger guard here. So if I fire this for a long time, uh, go to the range and try and practice with a full box of uh, ammo, uh, it actually, in a few occasions, has worn a little blister on the bottom of my hand. Uh, so when I shoot this, I only tend to shoot 10, 20, 30 rounds, and then I stop. Uh, it's fine. I've shot it a lot. Again, I've carried this thing for years and years and years. Love it a lot. Uh, if you want to customize it a bit, other than the uh, pocket clip, you can actually get multicolored grips for this. Uh, the grip detaches from the upper part of the gun, which is the registered part, and so you can get dark green, you can get purple, you can get pink, you can get whatever in the heck you like to customize this. I still say stay with black. Uh, this is in your pocket or wherever it happens to be. Uh, you don't want it to be seen in case uh, somebody happens to be standing behind you in line at uh, Wally World. Um, if they see a uh, bright orange or bright green, something like that, pink, they may look down and go, oh my god, he's got a gun, and uh, say something about it. Uh, probably not a good idea. Stick with black, in my opinion. 
Again, uh, good little gun. They tend to run about 200 bucks these days from what I remember. Um, again, I've seen them used for about 150. You're going to have to fluff and buff this a little bit just to make sure it's absolutely reliable. And like any other semi-auto, you need to at least put 200 rounds through this thing before you can trust it completely. Uh, good little gun. I carried it for years. I've got better, much better stuff that I carry these days, and I'm going to do reviews on these uh, presently. Um, good little starter gun. Love it a lot. Uh, enjoyed carrying it, and would do so again if I didn't have the better stuff I've got now. Either way, MD Prepper out. Thanks.